Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So we're continuing lesson two, uh, carry on looking at how to utilize uh, words pointing at things that are closer or human beings that are closer and objects that are closer and objects that are far away from you. So continuing on that, or looking on the screen, you will see uh, the utilization of man. And we had said earlier in the previous lesson that man is utilized when you're asking about a human being. So, man hadha wa man thalika. So, man hadha wa man thalika. Man, it means who. So, man hadha, who is this? Wa man thalika, and who is that? So, man hadha, meaning this person who goes over here. Man hadha, who is this person here? Wa man thalika, and who is that person over there? And then the answer is, هَذَا مُدَرِّسٌ This is a teacher. وَذَلِكَ إِمَامٌ And that is an imam who is a priest. An imam who is a priest because you can see he's closer to the mosque. And you can see from the minaret and the domes uh, clarifying that it's an image of a mosque. So هَذَا مُدَرِّسٌ This is a teacher because he's busy trying to write on the board. And definitely on a teachers do that usually um wadalika imamun and that is the priest the imam and you can see the imam is next to the mosque and uh, he is far away from this person who is over here who is a teacher so man hadha who is this wa man dhalika and who is that hadha mudarrisun this is a teacher وَذَلِكَ إِمَامٌ And that is the priest, the imam. Okay, so we're going to move on further on to this other object over here. مَا ذَلِكَ What is that? ذَلِكَ حَجَرٌ That is a rock. ذَلِكَ حَجَرٌ That is a rock. So in Arabic language, basically, حَجَر It means a rock and the same حَجَر means a stone, so you could uh, utilize the same word referring to a rock and referring to a stone. So, مَا ذَلِكَ In other words, we discussed earlier, I like when we're doing a lesson, whenever we come across something, I would want to recap a little bit if we dealt with it earlier, so that I see whether you could remember or, or just to assess. I keep reassessing every single time because that helps the learner to learn exactly how to utilize those vocabularies. So when we're referring to a human being, we use man. And when we are referring to a non-living thing, we use ma when we're asking a question. If you could uh, take a closer look here, we say man ha that because we are asking who is this person here. And then man ha that woman valika and who is that person over there? So now that we're looking at an object which is a non-living thing, so we are using ma. And we are not using man. So man is only for living things or for human beings. And ma is utilized for non-living things. So uh, taking a closer look here, it says ma dhalika. What is that? Dhalika hajarun. That is a rock. And I said the word hajar means a rock. And at the same time, it means a stone. So that's a new vocabulary that you need to take a closer look on it. And you need to memorize it and understand it. Uh, furthermore, we're going to look at these uh, two objects over here. So this is um, a sugar container. And that's um, uh, a mag of milk. So basically, or a cup of milk. So basically, we're going to look at the words of these two, um, two objects or the content of the two objects. So basically, هَذَا سُكَّرٌ وَذَلِكَ لَبَنٌ This is sugar. هَذَا سُكَّرٌ This is sugar. وَذَلِكَ لَبَنٌ And that is milk over there. وَذَلِكَ لَبَنٌ And that is milk. So there is something that I want to emphasize on here. The word laban in Arabic language, it means milk. In uh, several countries like Sudan, for example, they utilize the word leaven as milk 
and uh, in certain uh, Gulf countries like Saudi Arabia and the surrounding uh, neighbors of Saudi Arabia, uh, when they're referring to milk, they call it halib. Halib is milk. And then when you say laban, they refer laban to sour milk. So they differentiate. Once you utilize the word laban uh, in Saudi Arabia, they refer to sour milk. And then when you say halib, in other words, you're referring to fresh milk. So this is what I wanted to emphasize here. But otherwise, according to the example that we have, it is هذا سكر, this is sugar, وذلك لبن, and that is milk. So that is the milk over there. So these are the new vocabularies that we are looking at in this lesson. And uh, definitely in the next lesson, we are going to look at the exercises um, based on the new vocabularies that we have learned today as well as the uh, the utilization of hada and verika. Hada is for things that are closer. Sometimes it could be a person or it could be uh, an object. And verika is for things that are far away from us. It could be a human being and it could be an uh, inanimate thing. It depends on the structuration of the uh, sentence. With a few words, I would love to um, appreciate you for watching. And if you're tuning in for the first time, please consider subscribing, click the notification button, and give us uh, a, uh, a thumbs up because that helps the channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.